Hello everyone. So uh, this is another video where I break down uh, stuff in the recent edition of The Economist that I read. And uh, same format as always, organizations or think tanks. In this case, it's going to be a link, security issues, and tantalizing tangibles. I'm probably going to go back to calling that cool stuff. So this is the link. It's over 160 think tanks that uh, review stuff like immigration policy, gun violence, transportation, things like that. So first security issue, uh, chaos in the Sahel region. For those of you who don't know what the Sahel region is, it's this region right here. And as you can see, several of those countries were uh, formerly French colonies. And so you could say this is essentially a rebellion against uh, sort of the Francophile or Francophone traditions in these countries. Yeah, uh, I think we've had something like three coups in Africa since the 2010s. That's an amazing amount. Immigration. So immigration is provoking the far right in Europe. You've got several uh, right-wing politicians that are saying immigration is a problem even if it actually isn't we're sort of in a post-truth era unfortunately and Slovakia might be the latest country uh, to elect a far-right person this is somebody who served with them before so that could be bad uh, Freedom House keeps an index of these things and unfortunately unfortunately democracies are kind of uh, waning if you will at the moment so, Somalia. Uh, Somalia has been plagued by violence from a militant group, uh, Al-Shabaab. And even though Mogadishu is, you know, now in stable hands, once the U.S. withdraws support, it's hard to say if it will stay stable. So, Egypt is going to hold the uh, elections early, and I called it rigged elections. We all know CC is going to win this one, and any credible opposition is going to be, you know, arrested or barred from running. So South America has had a plague of uh, ships, most of them from China, uh, illegally fishing in its waters, and uh, this is a, a huge industry in terms of what's being taken out of the waters of uh, South America. Of course, not to mention that South America is trying to is trying to initiate, you know, some uh, green plans and whatnot. Uh, you uh, pretty much throughout a lot of the years, uh, companies have exploited South America and left it in environmental shambles. You know, stuff that affects not just global warming, uh, but the pollution in the Amazon and whatnot. So, some cool stuff here. Detroit has had some tax reform. Uh, essentially, what they're trying to do is make it so that uh, the income, t or I'm sorry, the property tax is less. Um, if you, if you, you know, if you live in a great place and you keep the, the property well. It's becoming a real problem, especially as we've got a growing elderly population. You know, they work hard to pay off a 30-year mortgage. But then they still have to pay off, you know, these property taxes, which have to be paid multiple times in a year. I think it's twice in Michigan. And, you know, onto that, they're old, so some of them, you know, can't work. And there has been foreclosures of uh, the elderly's homes in Detroit. There's also this rise of geopolitical firms. So, a lot of risk forecasting used to just be when you were doing business in another country used to be things like the weather you know well we really want to move a data center here or we want to open an overseas satellite operation here but is this area pr prone to ca catastrophic flooding and whatnot but now we're seeing the rise of geopolitical firms that try to gauge what is going to be the political picture is this country that you wanted to set up and likely to fall to totalitarianism or, say, um, autocracy, which can be bad for businesses because autocrats and totalitarians like to nationalize stuff. I, I find this uh, new 
a focus on the geopolitical rather than the environmental to be very, very fascinating. And uh, hey, if any of these firms are hiring, uh, for $45,000, I'll come both do the geopolitical analysis and I'll do all your presentation work. Uh, until next time, thank you.